there's a lot of fear of the other or fear of the unknown. I want to serve as a person who is able to recognize what the other is, what the unknown is. You really learn through teaching. It's a continuous process of improvement, revision, the Kenyan Intensive Language Model is really unique for the emphasis on undergraduate peer teaching. And our department is extremely dynamic for the eight languages that we teach, all taught in the target language from the very first year. As a language apprentice teacher, I have evening sessions with students. The whole point of the AT sessions are to have discussion-based learning where students feel free to ask questions. There's students who come in with some exposure to the Spanish language and other students that have no exposure at all. But because it's not quite as formal as the typical class during the day, I think the students are more at ease. I teach one class that's at 8, 10 p.m. How do I motivate them to want to learn more, especially at the end of a long day? And usually it's like a race to the board competition and they have to go back and forth. It gets people thinking on their feet and when they might not know the answer, they rely on their peers. We're talking about three or four times a week for the entire semester. So the bond that they create with their fellow students is quite strong, I think. They see me in the dining hall. They're like, Hola, Jonathan, ¿cómo estás? And I have a big smile on my face. These students that are working as ATs, they're really taking ownership of their own class. You can see that reflected in the number of Fulbright recipients that we have coming out of Kenya. Such a large percentage having been apprentice teachers. Being an AT reminded me of why my parents taught me Spanish. It brought a space and opportunity for me to share my culture to students who weren't aware of that. There are any number of ways that I could talk about Jonathan's growth. To see where he is at this point in his trajectory is extremely gratifying. I'm going towards immigration or the legal field, more in like the Southwest region with Latinx communities. I feel like that's a big need here in this country, especially with immigrants and the whole political discourse that's happening right now. Are you going to stay in touch? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.